Hey guys, it's Corey. For today's video, it's gonna be a quick one. We're gonna do a quick install of something I've been needing for a little while. The plastic splash guard underneath my car has been dragging because the uh, fluids have gotten on it and made it soft and everything like that. So it drags over uh, humps in the roads and everything like that. So a product that jzz30.com made is an aluminum splash shield to replace the plastic one. And it bolts right up into the factory spots. They even provide uh, extra hardware if you need it, if yours are too rusty or gone. All right, so let's take a look at what the tools you're gonna need. And really, it's pretty simple. So the tools you're gonna need for this is a jack, jack stand, ratchet, and a 10 millimeter socket. And right here is the splash shield with its factory mounting locations. The one I got was powder coated black. Uh, mainly because I'm not a huge fan of the aluminum look. Now that we've seen the tools that are involved and the splash shield itself, first thing you're gonna wanna do is jack up the car and put it up on jack stands. Make sure you chalk off the back wheel so it doesn't roll off into traffic. All right, uh, I'll catch up with you when I get that done. All right, once you get it jacked up, I like to leave the jack underneath it with most of its pressure off and most of it being held by the jack stand, but I like that extra layer, especially since I'm working alone. So we'll come around to the front. And basically, we're gonna be taking off that shield that you can see the back of it is just rubbing off because it's dragging everywhere. So what you're gonna do is take the, all the 10 millimeter bolts off around it. You do not need to take this front plate off because it'll bolt straight up to that. All right, so I'm gonna set you guys up and start doing that. Once you get that out of the way, you go ahead and bring in the new one, start bolting up the back and the front, and then you finish off with the sides until all bolts are tight. The main thing to note is that you want the etching to be facing down when you're done installing. The way the holes line up the right way. Also make sure you take all the bolts off from where it wasn't hanging anymore. Once you've done dealing with that, uh, go ahead and tighten them down and then you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick install. So one other small update that I've been doing lately is one of my HIDs burned out. So I went to the store, went over to Up Garage and bought some uh, LED replacement bulbs. So now I'm running 5500K LED replacement bulbs and they have their own cooling fan and in them and everything like that. The ballast is built into the light. It's pretty, pretty neat compared to what HIDs were. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I know it's short, but something that's necessity on one of these sores. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today. If you wanna get a splash shield for your sore, the link for jzz30.com will be in the description. So like the video if you enjoyed it, uh, comment if you have any questions, and consider subscribing. Until the next one.